this is a pretty simple app and widget to get a handle of, but it's very powerful in terms of keeping track of all of your tasks that are currently assigned to you. So once you open it up, it will look something like this. You probably won't have all of these tasks already in here, but you can add them very easily. So to add a task, all you have to do is go to the create task and you can select uh, the uh, text bar to enter in a title and select add, add and open or close to uh, go back and not enter the task. If you select the plus icon, the same action will occur. So if you were just going to add a test task, you can add and open and it will automatically open up the details pane here. If you did not select add and open and you just selected add, it would add as a draft and you could uh, then later go in and enter the, these details in before moving it to to do. Once you're in the task, you can go in, enter in a description, a context, maturity state, estimated finish date, estimated duration, assignees, attachments, and deliverables. And how this would work is you'd give a description. How, what, what is the task about? What has to be done to complete the task? Then you could give some context. And that would be, say you wanted to change a part within an assembly, you would give that a main assembly as the context. This is overall for this project. Uh, the maturity state, you will then move it from uh, draft to to-do, to in work, then to an approval. After an approval, uh, it can go to completed. You can also uh, simplify this by just clicking and dragging to these three states here. You have the estimated finish date in which you can choose from a calendar when you estimate this to be done by, and then you can choose the estimated duration that it will take, whether it is in days or hours. You can choose assignees. If you'd like to quickly assign to yourself, you can always come up here to the top right and click assign to self. And then you can add attachments. This adds more relevant context, whether it be a specification document or a markup that you would like to attach to the uh, task. For more information for the assignee, they have more context and they make sure that you don't miss out on anything. And then lastly, we have deliverables. And what deliverables will allow uh, the assignee to do is once they've completed the task, if there's any deliverables like an updated document or an updated revision of a product that you, they've made changes to, they can then attach it to the task to keep that history intact. This is especially useful in a uh, approval scenario where you submit it for approval. The approver can just come to this task and they see the deliverable attached, automatically open it from there, check that the changes have been implemented through the task, and then approve the task. And then lastly, we have, you can drop down more and you can just see the originator and owner of the task and when it was created modified. If it has already been moved to uh, in work or finished, you will see dates here under the start and finish date. You can also go up here to the comments and you can actually keep a thread of comments directly related, related to that task right from within the task itself. So you can tag people, have conversations, ask for clarification, everything right from within the task. As mentioned, you can assign it to yourself and be careful, this, this gets me a lot of times. This isn't to exit out of the task pane, this is to complete the task. So this will move the task all the way from draft or to do to complete. So be careful with that one. I tend to close out. You can always click and drag it back if you need to. And then there's delete if you want to delete the task. So I'm just going to close out of this one and I have a task. So I'm just going to close out of this one and I have a sample task set up with more information already entered into it. So if I was to open this up, I have the information revise impeller and the description is to put the cutout on the impeller wing to the other side in the context of the drone. So we know that we're going to be changing the impeller for this drone assembly. We have, it is in draft. Uh, once we're ready with this information and it is approved, we can move it to to do. We have an estimated finish date and how long it will take. The assignee is already assigned and here you have some extra attachments and this is a update picture and you can preview it right from here and uh, so this is just the example of what you could add as an attachment for more context such as a markup you can add other documents other products anything like that and then deliverables is left blank because the, assign, the assignee has not gone through and made the changes, and once they have, they can attach the updated impeller to the deliverables, uh, and then it can be approved and completed. So once it has been uh, set to to-do, it will load, and you will now see to-do here, 
And once you're ready to start working on it, you can click and drag it instead of opening up to in work. And now its status will automatically be updated to in work.